Hello, this is Salvatore Vinciguerra, and in this video, I'm bringing you to St. Leonard's Catholic Church in Boston, Massachusetts. If you have not subscribed to my channel so that you can receive notifications of when I post my videos, please do so, as well as give this video a thumbs up or a like. It is much appreciated. Boston, Massachusetts is an amazing place to visit and it has a lot of great restaurants and historical sites and many other activities to do around the city. One of my favorite places to visit either night or day in Boston is the North End and it's a small little Italian area that has a lot of shops, it has great restaurants, and it has some historical sites like Paul Revere's house, the Old North Church, and a lot more in this one little area in near downtown Boston. Now I'm on my way to go visit St. Leonard's Catholic Church. As I'm walking through the North End, you can see right in front of me is the Sacred Heart Catholic Church, and it is temporarily closed due to the pandemic. St. Leonard's Catholic Church is located in the heart of the North End, and it provides a temporary place of solitude for people of all ages. Regardless the time of year that you visit the church, this peace garden, which the church is known for, does give you some sort of inspiration before you enter the main church. Catholic Church was founded in 1873 and it is the first Roman Catholic Church in New England built by Italian immigrants. Construction of the church was designed in the Romanesque style by architect William Holmes. The interior with its ornate Italian style and color scheme was created by immigrant craftsmen who were also parishioners at the time. Prior to 1870, very few Italian immigrants resided in Boston. Rapidly, there grew a number of Italians leaving their homes and country to find a better life in a new world. Along with the immigrants came the rich traditions of Catholicism and legacies of strong faith and devotion to the church. Tending to the spiritual needs of his people, Archbishop Williams called upon the Order of Friar Minors, the Franciscans, many whom were recent immigrants themselves, to go out and serve those in need, and so began what is known as St. Leonard of Port Maurice Church. Originally situated on a small lot of land, within a decade the continued influx of Italian immigrants prompted the need for a larger place of spiritual respite. Construction began on the St. Anthony Shrine named for a great Franciscan saint, with many devotees from the old country. 
By the mid-1890s, the parishioners numbered close to 20,000. Once again, the friars recognized the need for a larger worship space to accommodate the faithful. Under the leadership of Pastor Father Ubaldus Pandolfi, the community raised $160,000, the equivalent of over $4 million today, to begin construction of the church. On November 6, 1899, the dedicated parishioners saw the consecration of the new upper church, named after St. Leonard of Port Maurice. Throughout the 20th century, loyal parishioners and the Franciscan friars built on their humble foundations, constantly reaching out to those in need. Responding to the deadly influenza epidemic of 1917 through 1919 and many orphans left in its devastating wake, then pastor Father Antonio Souza and several community members spread a fundraising campaign to create the Home for Italian Children. Located in Jamaica Plain, the Home for Italian Children officially opened in 1921 with 30 children. The dawn of the 21st century saw St. Leonard Church incorporate St. Mary's Chapel, formerly run by the Jesuit priests, and Sacred Heart Italian Church, formerly run by the Scalbrini Fathers, in the north end of Boston, into what became St. Leonard Parish. The Franciscan friars continued their ministry to combine the parishes with two worship sites, St. Leonard Catholic Church and Sacred Heart Church. Spirituality, fraternity, and tradition continue to be the center of life at St. Leonard of Port Maurice Parish. Rich Italian traditions and customs infuse the diversity of 21st century as new generations and multiple ethnicities embrace their religious societies, the church, and its ministries. This is Salvatore Benseguera. Thank you for watching this video on St. Leonard's Catholic Church in Boston, Massachusetts. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel, and have a great day. Thank you.